Hi, welcome to Pomeroy Knitting Series. I'm Bridget, and today we're going to learn a little bit about knitting. Um, first off, we've got our yarn here, and we've got our needles. But when we knit, take this off, it's not the greatest idea to knit with the yarn like this because the yarn can get really tangled. So what we're going to want to do is find the end of the yarn. So it's not on this one. Like that. So we've got the end of the yarn. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make it into a ball. Oh, one second. Sorry about that. Here's the ball of yarn right here. And the reason we want to make it into a ball is it's easier, it doesn't get tangled, it rolls. When it's like this, it can get a little bit tangled. So it's really simple. You're just going to take the end of the yarn here, take two or three fingers, wrap it around like this and just hold it, and then just keep wrapping. You do it about 10 or 15 times. Take it off your fingers, hold it like this, and now wrap it the opposite direction. Okay, so 10 times, 10 or 15. And then we're gonna kind of scrunch it and just make it like a little ball, rotating it ever so slightly. So rotate, rotate. So do like five and then turn it a little bit, five more, turn it a little bit, five more, turn it a little bit, and you just keep doing this, and you just keep turning and turning, and before you know it, you've got a ball of yarn. So if you want to take the time and put the video on pause and just roll the yarn up into a ball, it'll take a couple minutes, maybe five or ten minutes, then we can get knitting. So I had an idea. Um, with the video, it can be a little bit difficult having, I did a little trial and error. Um, it's difficult to see exactly where the yarn is on these small needles. So. I just so happen to have larger yarn and larger needles. These are size uh, 35 US and 20 um, mm, millimeters. And the yarn is 15 by 10 millime uh, millimeters and 6 super bulky and I'm just using this type of yarn just for the video so it's easier but if you have difficulty holding this size of needles if it doesn't feel comfortable and hard for you to see um, feel free to use a larger needle. Just check the yarn. So this type of needle will be good. When you use a larger needle, the stitch might be a little more spaced and that's okay because with knitting there's just different styles. Um, when I use this type, um, it's going to be a pretty tight stitch. So I'm going to use both during the video series just so you can get a feel. But when I'm teaching a stitch, I will most likely use this yarn. So, the first thing that we need to do when knitting, I didn't roll this in a ball, but that's okay. Just for now, I'm just going to use a little bit of it so it won't get too messy. So, um... Like I mentioned in the first video, I have a knitting book and I'm going to photo, I photocopied the pictures that give you an image of how to do everything I'm gonna teach you. So that might be able to help you if you miss something or the video's not clear, 
the image will be there to help you. And some people learn differently and that might be easier to look at the image. So I'm actually left-handed. So um, when I knit, I knit on the opposite side. But um, it actually works because I'm left-handed. So the camera is going to flip it. So it'll work great for everybody that's right-handed. So you're going to take two fingers, whichever feels comfortable. You can, if you want to know, am I left-handed, am I right-handed with knitting? It's whatever feels comfortable. So I just so happen to feel comfortable with my right hand holding the yarn and my left hand supporting here. So I take my two fingers and I make a loop. I need a little bit of extra space here. I, I make a loop like this, fold it over, and now it's laying on it like that. You see, crossed it, and then I'm going to cross over again. So I've just done that. Okay, I'm going to pick up my needle. I'm going to use my big needle here so you can see it clearly. And I am going to stick it under and then come out. And what I'll do from here is I'm going to tighten it. Okay. I'm going to pick up the long piece here. Before we do that, I'm going to show you on this side because sometimes it's easier if we see things repeated two times. This might be a little tricky for some, so I'll use now on the green one. I take my two fingers, I make a circle like this, then I cross the circle over the long piece. I stick my needle, I'm going to stick the needle under and then come out over and I'm going to tighten it. Okay, so that's just starting our first stitch. We're casting on. Okay, um, feel free to pause the video, take a look at the PDF or the document that you have, and practice. Um, so there's two ways to start a casting on. We can use our hand and do this quick method like this, but we can just as easily take our needles. Now this is kind of, these are kind of big needles. I haven't used these in a while. So I'm going to take the long string. I'm going to wrap it around my second needle behind. Oops. I'm going to now oops, pull it, catching that. Pulling it out and placing it on top. I'm going to show this a few times because this can be tricky. Okay, I'm going to try and knit backwards. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can do it. So here's my main needle. We'll call this the main needle, right? All I'm simply going to do is take it, stick it next, and I'm taking that second needle and stick, sticking it behind. Taking my long yarn, I'm going to wrap it around the, the main needle and I'm just taking this circle and placing it on top and then I lightly tighten it. Okay, so let's, let's do that again. Y'all, this is my first time knitting backwards. <laughs> Okay, so we've got the main needle, and let's call this our supporter needle. I'm going to stick it around the main needle in between like that. And then I'm just going to take this loop that's here, and the string's just going to rest right here. And I'm just going to stick it on. Okay. So we're going to do a scarf. We're going to do this, we're going to do 20 stitches. So if you look here, these are called a stitch. One, so right now we have one, two, three stitches. And, oops, I'm just going to do a couple real quick. We can do them together. You can pause the video. 
whatever works for you. Let's see, one more. So I go through, wrap it behind. Computer just went out on me. <laughs> Put it over. There we go. Stick it through. Wrap it behind the, the wrap the yarn behind and pull the loop over. And we just continue that for 20. I'm gonna show real quick, demonstrating on the smaller needles, perhaps um, with the contrast of the green, this will be easier to see. So I just wanna demonstrate it two ways. You're just gonna ignore this little piece of string here. Don't worry about it. Okay, take your long string, wrap it around, be, wrap it behind, pull that needle out, pull the loop on over. Whoops, what just happened? Let me do this again. Okay, there we go. Loop it on over. So, sometimes the first stitch I find can always just be a little bit weird, but um, sometimes it feels like that with the first row that you do. It can just be a little bit weird. So don't worry. Okay, I'm gonna try to knit backwards again. Okay. I'm gonna pull this through, wrap it around, and plop it on top. There we go. Did I do it? Yes. <laughs> Okay, so I stuck the needle in like that, wrapped it around in between here, see that, in between like that, and then I'm just going to stick that loop on top, and just you're going to tighten a little bit as you go, um, not super tight, but don't have it loose, you can have it loose, but your knitting will be looser, so you so you just tighten it just a little bit. And for today's series, for today's class, we're just gonna leave it at casting on 20 stitches. So that's the work for today. Um, next class, we'll talk a little bit more about um, knitting and mistakes and what to do and all that. And before you know it, you'll have a beautiful scarf. Bye. Bye everybody at Pomeroy.